Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be looking at a uh, lead code question 217 contains duplicate. It's a very simple algorithm and I don't think we'll take too much time on this. Now, this algorithm says that given an integer array norms that will return true if any value appears at least twice in the array or that will return false if every element is distinct. Basically, that's what. So, for example, we have an example of one, two, three, one. This returns true because once appear twice, and one, two, three, four. It returns false because no number appears uh, at least twice in this place. So let's just look at how we we'll come up with this algorithm, and let's just quickly get that out. So we have, sorry, so we have uh, our array. We have the norms. One, two, three, and one. So the first thing is that I, I could say one, two, three, one, and I could start from this first one. And I said, okay, I am currently on one, and I go to check it. I compare one with two, I compare one with three, compare one with one. I'll go the same. I say, I compare two. It. I could come and say compare it with one, but you know, I already know that I've compared one and two already, so I could just go forward. I compare two with three, I compare two with one here. Yeah. Also, this three, say three, and I compare it with one here, yeah. and one is just one, so let's not compare with it. So, for example, here, I know that this returns true, so it means that this is supposed to return. So basically, that is one approach we could use. So, but for this, we see that we have this is four of n, and then going this direction also, we have o of n. So definitely, this is going to be an o of n square for the time. But for the space complexity, we will likely have the space for this is just o of one because you don't really need to store anything anywhere. It's you don't need to store or save anything, you just return true or false for this. So this is one approach. But the time complex is actually too it's not it's not optimal. So uh, we could go with another approach here. So let's say we have one, two, three, one. And I have a dictionary or like a store where I have what I have gone through. So for example. At the beginning, my store, my store here, empty. So when I start from one, I come in and I say, Does one exist in my store? So if one does not exist, I add it here. So my store becomes this, and I go on to the next one. Uh, on number two, does two exist in the store? No. So it knows no duplicate, it hasn't found a duplicate. So you come back here. So go to the next item. Three. Does three exist? Doesn't exist. So we add it to our dictionary. Go to the last one. Does one exist? Check it says yes, one exists. And since one exists, we return two. So let's use the second example where we had one, two, three, four. So we start our store is empty at the beginning when we add one one does not exist so it adds one to the dictionary when we add two two does not exist so it adds two to the dictionary so we have uh one so we have one and two the one and two in our dictionary we go to three does three exist no so it adds it one two three go to the last one does four exist no one two three four since it did not find anyone so we know that this will return a false so basically that's another approach and with this we see that all we just need to do we just need to go through this list just one time so that is just an of n that's for the time but because we have a storage here like a dictionary 
in which we are storing and the maximum for example in this scenario you see that the maximum number of items it can store is the max is and uh, the length so we have a length of four here you see four so we it means that my space complexity for for this is going to be an of n so for the time is of n and for space also of n whereas for this the time is of n square and the time is of one but that means a constant time um sorry for well, that for space sorry so uh it will have that now so let's look at how we bring that out in our algorithm so basically it means that i will need my store so let's say all store and it's a dictionary uh, a dictionary of ints and basically we don't really care about what we store it with uh so i will just say boolean so i'll just iterate through every norm between my norms and basically the same question i'm asking i'm saying if uh our store does it contain that number so we know if it contains it it means we found a duplicate so we can just return through but if it does not contain it it means it doesn't have it so we want to add it to our store uh we just add to our store so we know that if it goes through all the lists that is it has gone through the loop and it still did not find it we know that means there's no duplicate and that would just be the solution to this so just a simple algorithm and i felt it should be easy uh so if we run this um coming see pass and if we submit there shouldn't be any problem um yeah so there's no problem and it passed it passed or uh, well so that's basically the contains duplicate algorithm uh thank you very much for staying to this time uh see you again in the next video